Okey. Bila kita buat online learning, uh, ada juga kes pelajar dia biasa macam ni lah. Bila kita tak nak bagi pelajar tu boleh berbincang, kita akan limitkan masa. Contohnya, memang memang masa yang ada tu untuk dia jawab je. Memang tak sempat pun untuk berbincang. So, contohnya kalau 30 soalan tu, kita buat satu jam. Memang tak ada masa untuk dia berbincang lah. Walaupun begitu, ada juga kes pelajar dia log in dulu guna guna akaun orang lain, kawan dia yang dia dapatkan soalan, lepas dah dapat soalan dia bincang-bincang bincang dulu, lepas tu baru dia masuk. Jadi kalau kita set limit time tu pada dia baru start lah tapi sebelum ni dia dah log in guna akaun kawan dia dia dapat soalan dan dia boleh masuk. Jadi ada beberapa features yang untuk kontrol yang ni kita boleh kontrol. Maksudnya pelajar yang berdaftar saja boleh jawab soalan kita Um, hmm, kita ke tujuh lah macam mana nak buat setting tu cuma saya rasa lebih hari ni perkongsian lebih kepada features yang ada macam mana kita nak buat quiz tersebut lah eh, sudut uh, student boleh tiru apa tu itu mungkin boleh uh, share kemudian lah ok um, Diha ke Diha? ok Diha take over Diha Ah, third set quiz. Share screen dulu. So, kita ada pembatu daripada comel sekarang ni. Uh, Cik Izdiha eh. So dia akan lead dulu. Nampak ke? Okay. Dia nampak. Okay, okay. Boleh nampak. Cuma suara Diha tak tak clear lah suara tu. Uh, Diha slow sikit suara tu. Uh, tak suara apa ni laptop. Laptop lama jadi memang slow. Sorry. Memang slow. <laughs> Tapi dengar tak? Dengar, dengar. Diha, 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 sekejap Diha. Uh, ada yang request uh, dalam bahasa Inggeris sebab kita ada uh, uh, like uh, Boleh, boleh in English. Sorry, okay. boleh saya tanya tak? Uh, Assalamualaikum, Kak. Uh, sorry, uh, saya Dr. Emma. Uh, saya terkelip uh, dua hari lepas tapi saya tak boleh nak keluarkan this administration punya page. Kenapa? Uh, 
Uh, I mean yang belah kiri tu it, it is not within my Tak ada dekat saya punya tu Ke saya salah Tekan kat mana Dekat saya punya course The administration yang belah kiri ni Semua-semua ni dia tak keluar Dekat atas ada tema Dekat atas kiri tu Boleh Dekat klik. turn editing on dulu dah, Saya dah turn editing on Tapi Salah macam mana. Sebab tak keluar. Memang editing on dah. Tapi belah kiri tu tak keluar. Yang dia punya tengah ni keluar. Asa ada um. tema dia tepi sekali belah kiri atas tu klik. Boleh. Okay, dia nanti. boleh keluar. Okey tak apa nanti saya saya tanya balik lah. Sorry eh. Sorry sorry. <laughs> to enable the time when the quiz to start and then when the quiz supposed to end Uh, on uh, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Uh, what about the time limit? Uh, we can also set the time limit. Suppose we open the quiz for one hour but maybe uh, the answer time we limit to 30 minutes. So they can open from the, uh, 3 o'clock to 3.30 but then uh, we end it by 30 minutes. So we can set the limit. Set 30 minutes lah, okay. uh, Let's say 30 okay. minutes. Hmm. Uh, wait, you, you okay, just ignore that one. Okay, then uh, to and return to your course. Maybe, uh, maybe on the extra restriction. How can we set the password? Okay, let's say we want to restrict this quiz to only person who know the password. We we will we give the password to our student only. So click on extra restriction and then click on the require password and then put our password. Okay. Quiz one. Okay. And another thing is the review option. Review option dia. So uh, we have some option to be chosen here, but there is a default setting. We will. Uh, what we need to look it. At the after the quiz is closed, meaning after the four o'clock or later while the quiz is still open. So this is uh, the main uh, setting. But um, how the student can view their marks. So let's say after they have finished the quiz, but then uh, we want to make the student know about their grade. But the, the, the quiz is still open, but they already finished earlier. So if if the case we want to the student to know the marks, we can take the mark later while the quiz is still open. But it's not uh, recommended to set because uh, uh, because considering the quiz may be uh, delay and maybe some student have some difficulty in assessing this quiz. So we need to delay the quiz but then there is another student that already attempt the quiz and get the answer so that's why we need to uh, just stick to the default setting for example later while the quiz is open just
tick the attempt and then after the quiz is closed also tick the attempt because we still cannot reveal the marks until the student all the student we have confirmed that have made a successful attempt after that when uh, if you want to reveal the mark then we can tick uh, after that so let's say after the quiz is closed and maybe after maybe on the tomorrow we can set uh, after the quiz is closed uh, their marks and the right answer so they can check by their own on the answer okay ada soalan tak? So, ini setting yang penting je lah yang, yang perlu kita tengok lah. Dan satu lagi yang uh, grade tu tengok grade. Okay. So grade ni we, we have uh, some option. For example attempts allow. Uh, but don't worry you don't, you don't have actually to really go on this setting because we already set the default setting which is uh, recommended. So let's say if you want to allow the student to attend more than one so you can click attend allow more than one and then uh, if there more than one you, you can also set the grading method either to set to choose the highest grade or maybe you can also put pilih-pilih lah grading grade tu. Yang bawah tu. Uh, sebab kita pilih attempt allow one so they will count the highest grade so let's say unlimited okay unlimited and then the grading method can be average or first attempt or last attempt so we can this is um, possibly can be used for assessment for learning not for the grade so we, we want the student must answer all the question correctly and then they can Uh, proceed to another quiz or proceed with another lesson. We can control that one. So this setting is more uh, is suitable if we want to design this assessment for the learning. It's not for the grade. For the grade, hmm. for the grade we, we recommend attempt allow is only one. Lah. Okay. So the most important is the timing, and then grade you can ignore, and then the review we can. So ignore, ignore mean just uh, use the default setting and then uh, the extra restriction. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Sahilan, Dr. Siza, okay. saya nak tanya tadi, sorry saya tak faham yang uh, untuk restriction, uh, apa tu, yang review, review option. option. Uh, okay. Jadi bila, bila um, klik dah setting default tu, jadi kita tak perlu tick apa-apa, dia dah automatic the attempt ni. So maksudnya macam mana? Kalau kita tak nak tak nak result tu appear during the exam tu, maksudnya uh, kita memang klik tu dia dah set default dekat the attempt. Betul. Uh, jadi kalau kita tak uh, melainkan selepas a few days lah baru kita klik after the exam tu semua. Uh, after the quiz is closed, kita tick lah whether correct mark. Jadi student boleh check lah markah dia. Ah, uh, Okay, okay faham. Okay, okay. Lihat, proceed. Doktor Sailan, sorry. Yeah. Uh, nak tanya, kalau macam kata let's say kita nak settingkan each questions. Contohnya soalan pertama, kita nak settingkan satu minit. Lepas dia dah satu minit, dia terus lompat ke soalan kedua dan tak boleh reverse dah ke soalan pertama. Kalau macam tu kita boleh buat ke tak? Okay, uh, masa mengikut question tak boleh setting lah. Dia tak ada features tu. Dia tak boleh nak uh, allocate soalan ni berapa, berapa lama, soalan ni berapa lama tak boleh. Tapi kalau guna modul lain yang bukan quiz lah boleh lah. Macam kita guna lesson, lesson ada activity lesson tu kita boleh control yang tu. Selagi dia jawab tak betul, dia tak boleh pergi kepada next page. Ha, yang tu boleh buat. Tapi itu aktiviti lain lah. Dia bukan quiz. Itu lesson punya aktiviti lah. Okay. Dia yeah, proceed. Okay. 
then you want, you want to add the question to click your quiz one. Uh, edit quiz. Uh, click the add and add a new question. And then we can choose like whether a multiple choice or two false or two answers. For example, here I choose for multiple choice and then click add. Multiple uh, choice ni it can be one best answer also. One best answer boleh guna multiple choice question ni. And then, for example, this one, uh, question one, and then, uh, like your question one, what? So, Soalan, soalan. Contoh soalan. So if this is the answer, we, we should set the grade is 100. Let's say if you want to give penalty for the, maybe for the next answer, yeah, choice two. So this is choice one is the correct answer. So we set the grade to 100. So let's say this is uh, the wrong answer. We can use grade none or we can also give penalty for that one. So for example, there is the negative marks for that okay so uh, probably you want to set penalty for that wrong answer you can put the negative mark there otherwise uh, we just put none uh, uh, maksudnya negative 50% tu maksudnya separuh lah dia akan tolak total markah tu kita boleh set ni total markah untuk yang question ni we can set how much is given to this question only so meaning if we put negative 15, if we set this uh, question will be uh, let's say 10 mark, so it will deduct about 5 mark for, for this question. Buat tanya lah, dia nan nan. Buat nan dia, semua buat nan. Yang atas tadi pun nan juga. Okay. Just for the correct answer, we put 100. For the grade. Okay, so then we have the the full mark for that question one. Tunjuk sikit dia tu yang we can we can alter the we can edit the mark for the question one. So right now is one one mark lah for that question. Okay, add another question. Okay. Okay, true first question. Okay. Question 
Yuniza is located in Sabah. Okay, so another question. Is your answer? Describe nak show answer susah dia. Contoh ni, Yuniza stands. Uh, ah, okay. Okay. It's the acronym for University Sultan Zain Abidin. Show answer usually we provide the answer. We need to provide the answer. So it's more like keywords. Let's say this one is 100, we give 100. Okay, we can also set the case sensitivity. So we can ignore either the student use capital letter or not. So we can set the case sensitivity here. So usually we just put uh, no case is unimportant. Okay. You can also put uh, all the answers for the for this question. All the possible answer. Maybe University Sultan will give uh, 50%. Okay. University Sultan. Uh, maybe we can set a, a partial mark for that one. And all the possible answer we can put there. Maybe uh, the English one. So then I'll be the University. So we can give this uh, possible answer 100. Okay. Save. So for the short answer, we need to provide all the possible answers. Okay. Uh, and the last one, I think, essay. Yeah, add essay. Okay. We can also allow student to attach file. Let's say we want uh, this question requires student to draw something or um, yes, draw or sketching. And then we want to to student to be able to upload that drawing. So we, we can put allow attachment. So soalan ni essay biasa je start. We tak perlulah buat allow attachment tu. Ish. Katakan soalan ni perlukan student lukis and then dia kena ambil gambar dan dia kena post. So kita put allow attachment as one. Tu proceed lah. Tak perlu explain tu dia. Okay. okay allow attachment just click one. In case kita perlu student tu upload something lah. Hmm, tu je lah. Lepas tu save lah. And then uh, preview. So ni adalah basic-basic question yang ada lah. Dia ada lagi yang banyak tu tapi saya rasa yang tu boleh explore sendirilah.
So, preview dia, preview quiz. Belah kiri tu, preview. Now we put this one. Then start attempt. Okay, start attempt. So, macam ni lah paparan dia. Cuba jawab sikit. Ya, tengok macam mana kita boleh. Tu option untuk kita upload lah. Kalau ada dia nak upload lah. Jadi kita buat option allow attachment tadi kan. Dia ada option tu. Ha, tak perlu. Okay. So bila student dah habis tu dia akan klik finish attempt. So, submit all and finish. Okay. So sekarang ni kita tak nampak jawapan we can we can see the answers the correct answer but we only see the attempt of what we have been what, what we have made because of our setting previously we don't allow uh, the correct answer and the, the the marks to be revealed to the student so let's say we edit setting Edit setting, we allow the marks to be given immediately. Okay, dekat mana dia? Dekat review option. Okay, review option. Okay, letter while the quiz is still open. The attend with the correct and the mark. Okay, and then the right answer. Click right answer, okay. Right, save setting ni. So, this setting will allow the student to immediately get their result after they, they attempt. So, try sekali lagi. Preview. Okay, when the student, okay, finish attempt, submit all and finish. Uh, nampak ayah jawab. Mungkin sebab preview kot. Tapi rasa preview dia nampak semua kan. Tengok balik setting dia. Okay, review option. This is still open. Okay, tu yang immediately ya. Immediately after the attempt. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Like 
Kita boleh je. Letter maksudnya lepas dia dah submit and then dia open balik yang saya dah akan nampak dah. Tapi bila kita try sebagai teacher ni kita tak nampak kan tu. So kita nak hanya nampak immediately tu lah. So immediately tu kita boleh buat lah untuk kita test. Betul tak jawapan tu kita nak check kan. Ah, buat preview sekali lagi Finish attempt. Submit. Okay, so we can see the the answers and the mark is given immediately. So this setting is for our testing purposes. It's not recommended when we implement the the quiz uh, for the student. This is for uh, teacher to see either the question is set correctly or not. So we can use this setting. Sebab kita nak tengok betul tak nanti mungkin kita silap letak jawapan. So kita tengok kat sini lah. Sebab ini dia akan auto calculate lah mark ni. Kecuali kalau tengok essay tu if we, you can look at the essay question. There's no mark for that. Boleh scroll tak dia? Yang uh, yang essay bawah tu. Okay, there's no mark. So we need to give manually mark for the question 4. Macam mana nak bagi? Dia ada dekat grid tu kan. Nah, dekat review tu. Okay. Uh, sebelah tu dia nak scroll kat atas. Uh, result. Result tu. Okay, manual grading ada bawah tu. Ada manual grading tu. Okay. Okay, so here we can see all the question that has been answered by the student but it's not yet marked or graded by the sister because it's an essay. Sepatutnya keluar semua lah. Semua jawapan pelajar tu keluar kat sini. So, dia akan ada lah kat sini. Ni kita tak, tak, tak test dengan pelajar dia tak nampak lah. Okay, katakan kita nak buat page. Ya, biasa tak page? Question tu nak nak group by page. Okay, okay. Um, right. okay go back to the edit quiz. Edit quiz. Okay, let's say we want to design our question page 1 question number number 1 and 2 and then we want to split question number 3 and 4 is page 2 ada butang belah kiri tu dia yang bawah bawah tipe jenis tu kalau kita siapa yang dekat 3 kalau sebelah tu ada button yang kita boleh split page tu kalau sebelah lagi belah kiri sekali tu ada button tu yang arrow, arrow. Hmm. Ah, yang atas tu. Atas dia. Okay. Uh, so, we can click this uh, button to split into another page. So, we have page 1, question 1 and question 2. Page 2, question 3 and question 4. Let's say we want to develop uh, a problem-based question. So, we have some uh, description above. 
and then following the description we have the question so uh, in in order to do that we can add a new okay uh, but add no? add new question okay add a new question and then we can choose a uh, description pause kali dia okay we can show the description for the scenario or for the diagram for that page okay add okay letakkan uh, okay boleh tak gambar dia hao ini je letaklah mungkin a uh, section buat se section lah dia section B kata kan so, let's say section B comprise of question 3 and 4 but before that they have some descriptive uh, labels on the question dan ini boleh letak gambar dia gambar oh, dekat tu dekat uh, gambar atas tu kat editor dia tu ok cari gambar Okay, we can upload, uh, let's see, certain diagram. Tak ada gambar apa-apa pun. Okay. Itu kalau kita nak letak gambar, insert. Okay. Kecilkan sikit. Okay, we can resize the picture. Di bawah lagi. Uh, scroll lagi. Di bawah biasanya. Di picture. We click on the picture. besarkan editor dia tu uh, bawah dia tu bawah daripada scroll tu dia boleh resize tu bawah tu ha tu hmm. oh, ni dah buat full screen eh dia klik balik dekat dekat gambar tu okey klik klik gambar tu double click uh, klik dekat picture atas tu tak apa icon picture tu ok edit edit image okay, right click and then click edit image edit image bawah link tu edit image Okay. Okay, dimension tu lah kita boleh kecilkan dia berubah uh, 300-300 okay, update okay, so we can resize the picture and then let's say we want to include um, video so cuba uh, ok kat bawah dia okay, video Video ni kita kena link je kan. So cari dulu video mana-mana kat YouTube. Men hair jangan ada rambut ni ok so choose the ni lah mana-mana pun how to close a door ada cakap Okay, so katakan ambil lah man Anna tu tak apa. Okay. Alright, so 
Okay, copy the link from the URL and then paste the link in this editor. Okay, so okay, but do bawa this save lah. So we have okay save ya. Ini dia akan auto dia. Ah, yeah. dia akan auto dia akan auto view kat situ nanti. Okay, save. Okay, let's say we want to view only this question. Just preview question tu saja dia. Section B tu saja. Ah, preview je. Ada button preview tu. Edit tu. Kena klik dekat button ah uh, kanta tu kanta. Okay, we can preview this question. Okay, so ni question dia lah. Tapi ni tak, 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 tak convert eh. Yang video tu. Hmm. Okay, try cuba insert link. Okay, edit. Uh, plugin tu kita buang tu sebelum ni saya dah masukkan plugin tu di auto je ataupun mungkin tunjuk yang tu dia yang embed code tu guna html punya embed code Sementara saya boleh cari plugin dia ni. Uh, so pergi dekat YouTube. YouTube tu dia ada share tu. Untuk link dia tak boleh link tu saja. Buka balik YouTube tu. Kena buka balik YouTube and then dapatkan embedded code. Okay, pergi dekat share tu. Share bawah tu. Share tu, share tu. Game. Okay. Then ambil embedded. Embed. Alright. And then copy. Klik copy je dia. Bawah tu ada button copy. Alright. Okay. And then we get this embedded code inserted into our uh, so in order to insert the HTML code, we need to click that button first. HTML embed tu dia. Okay, click that one. Okay, edit HTML source. And then, at the end of the text, we just paste the code from the YouTube. Then, update. Okay, so the video will be show directly in the question. Okay, save and then preview the question. Okay, you can preview first. preview okay so the video will be automatically show to the student while they answering the question okay this is a description type of question there is no answers for this this is for scenario based or problem based or diagram for that page one uh, page two okay so yeah they are okay if okay let's say we have uh, in page 2 okay, page 2 we want section b which is the diagram and the video arranged to the first question in the in the first in the page 2 okay just click at that icon and then drag to the first then uh, preview the question Start attempt. 
Okay, this is the page one. Next page. Okay, next page. So we have the problem based or scenario on top of the question. And then the list of question is above the description. Alright, so far ada pertanyaan tak? Oh, inilah cara nak buat quiz. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you please demo how to prepare MTF according to FP's uh, format? Boleh tak? Okay. Uh, basically, we oh, already... Itu kan? Uh, uh, ada video tapi kita tunjuk balik. Apa dia? Saya, saya take over sekarang ni. Hmm. Alright. Uh, apa tu dia? Apa ni? Apa lah saya buat dekat kursus saya. Okay, let's see. What they all? Okay. Uh, okay, edit it on. So let's say we want to create a multiple true false question. So the first step we can give that sini quick links, tools for lecturers, and then the other close close converter. We need just prepare the question in the Excel format and then just import to the clip. So again, quick links, tools for lecturers, class converter. It will open this window. And then there's some instruction. Just follow the step by step. First, download the template file and then fill in the question you want to ask your student. And then you will download the question. You can open this file. Okay. Actually, for the multiple or uh, one best answer, we can also do the same. We can just import from Excel. Uh, this one I just show you the multiple true false or the clause type question. Okay, we already formatted this Excel to be enable imported or exported to clips. So let's say we we have three question. The first question just put in the column A number one, and then proceed in the column B, the question text. And then all the possible answer is uh, in the row following. Okay, in the column A, just put the correct answer. Either this one is true or false. If this one is false, just put F. Okay. Don't put F A. Don't put the uh, the full uh, word. Just put F only for the false answer. And then this is the, the answers for that question. And then this is the next answer for that question, which is true. And then the following C is also true. And then D. Okay, D. False. And then the last one E uh, is true. And then for the next question, just put number two. You can uh, uh, um, add uh, one, one blend here. Or you can also just proceed with this this uh, row but in this one I just put uh, one blank and then put the number of the question number two and then this is the question this one I put the video okay iframe remember the previous uh, tutorial you can uh, share the link of the YouTube and then get the embed code 
and then this is the embed code iframe and then it will end with the iframe so this is video from youtube and then we can put the question and then this is the the possible answer a which is true the answer is true b is the answer the fourth is false and then the next question is put in here in column a put the question number in column b put the question text and then all the list of the answers in the following this is the correct answer for each row so let's say you have these three kind of question so just save this one let's say i save into a new file save as okay maybe on the desktop Okay, name it as uh, MTF multiple true false. Right, and then save. Okay, so this is my file name. And then the second step, you can put a penalty mark for the wrong answer. So let's say uh, there's no penalty mark, just put zero. If for the wrong answer, uh, you want to give penalty uh, minus 0 0.5, just, just put minus 0 0.5 you want to put penalty one just put minus one okay and then upload the excel file okay upload the excel file which contain the question i just put a new file in the desktop called mtf open this file and then just uh, upload the file and then the computer will generate the format uh, a new file which is uh, a generated format for the import purposes so we can show this format so basically it will convert all the question into clause question okay this is mc multiple choice okay you don't have to look at that file also just go to the new quiz let's say i create a new quiz here I create a new quiz again. New quiz. Okay. MTF one. Okay. And then set the timing. Okay. Enable when we want want to start the quiz and when it's supposed to be closed. Okay, we can also set the limit. Alright, and then, um, okay, save and display. Then we need to add the question. So in order to add the question, if we put, uh, if we use this edit quiz, we need to uh, add one by one. So in this case, we want just to import excel file so just go to the question bank first and then we can also create category so let's say we want to create category first easier for us to maintain the list of question so let's say for this mtf1 we create another uh, a new category maybe section a for mtf1 add category sorry um Okay. Again, section A for MTF1. Okay. Before you add this category, you need to specify the parent category for this uh, category, which is uh, MTF1. Okay. Add category. So we can see for the quiz MTF1, they have one category here. Okay, so this category we want to import question from the Excel, from the generated Excel. So just click on the import function here and then click this one, embedded answers or clause format. And then um, okay, we expand the general menu and then select our category, section A for MTF1. And then just find the file not the excel file it's the generated uh, formatted uh, text file for that for this one so we have 
already download here close and then open this then upload this file and then click import okay again this file is not the excel one this is the generated one when we click this uh, button when we click this when we upload the excel it will automatically uh, download the plus uh, text file that can be imported to Moodle or click okay so this file and then just click import and then you can see there is one two and three question and then continue okay so we can uh, view the question first okay click this um, menu or this icon preview okay to okay you can check okay either this uh, answer template is correct okay this is the second question we have video here okay we have video and then following is the true false answer Okay. and then the last question can preview first before we import to our quiz okay this is the question and can we can also check either the answer is correct we in the correct answer and then if this all okay and then you can start as, uh, use this question in your quiz okay so currently you are only upload the question into the question bank it's not yet been added to the to your current quiz so in order to add all this question to your quiz just click on the edit quiz okay and then go to add and then click on the prompt question pen uh, for this one is the manually add one by one but we want to add from the question pen just select this one from question pen and then select the category section a we we have three question here you click this one and then just uh, they will it will preview all the question in the question band you can highlight all this one or maybe you can see only selected question if you want to highlight all the question just click here all right add selected question to the quiz okay so you have the question inserted into your quiz so you can preview we have question one and then this is the next question and then this is the question three so this display will be appear same like your student view uh, okay ada soalan Okay, Habirah ni. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Saya nak tanya. Okay, let's say katakan kita dah set soalan semua. Kemudian kita nak preview. Hmm. Dan kita dah switch role sebagai student untuk kita cuba jawab soalan yang kita set up tadi. Okay. Ha, tapi bila saya tengok dekat result pane, dia punya result tu tak sama uh, masa kita tengok yang student jawab tu, yang daripada grading daripada student tu. Boleh tak kita nak view macam yang student jawab tu result dia. Uh, boleh. Kita kena bila macam mana? Siapa nak attempt ni? Hmm. Saya cuba buat dia keluar satu berapa participant yang jawab, berapa oh. score je yang keluar. Dia tak keluar dalam bentuk Excel untuk right. kita download ke ha, macam tu. Uh, boleh bagi nama khusus tak? Boleh saya terus masuk khusus tu? Saya nak search apa ni? Nama khusus doktor tu. Ha, sekejap ya. Yeah. Oh, tapi tapi kat situ saya cuba set untuk soalan exam. Boleh ke review kat sini? Rasa macam. Oh, tak boleh. Ya. Yeah. Sebab dia kena ada yang yang try dulu apa boleh tengok. Ha, itulah ada yang dah try tapi result dia keluar macam mana nak cakap. Dia hanya keluar yang colour purple tu lah yang berapa participant jawab dan berapa persen yang dia score for each participant tu. Hmm. Bukan ada Ok 
bikin di sini dah ada bro. Hmm. Existing quiz yang awak dah jawab eh. Ya tak. Ini tak ada. Soalan Ya abang kat sini jadikan dia hap Dia dah delete dah Bawah sekali Bawah sekali Quiz 1 Then quiz Quiz 1 Name. Next speech. Right. Sebab kita orang ni punya paparan admin. Ada tak risau? Tak keluar risau kita. Sebab kita teacher kot. Maybe boleh uh, tolong jawab ni yang ni. Buka klik, buka khusus. EKT 1001 ni. Ya ada ni user untuk testing. User testing. Ah tak ada. Azi je ada ni. Hmm, tadi nak tunjuk kan tu sebab kita kena ada orang jawab tu sebab quiz ni. Orang boleh nampak dia punya senarai-senarai tu. Berapa password tu tadi? Ada password. Quiz 1. Quiz 1. Quiz 1 spell ke apa? Ah uh, quiz number 1. Okay. Jadi keluar macam ni lah So kalau nak tengok yang student punya tu Klik di sini lah review attempt Dia nampak lah soalan student tu jawab macam mana Ni paparan student lah yang jawab tu Dan Dia ada history dia bila dia buat uh, Dia adalah bila soalan jawapan-jawapan tu Kalau dia banyak kali tulis pun dia akan record kat sini Okay. Yang ni kan yang soalan tadi kan Nak tengok macam mana student punya jawapan kan So dia akan keluar banyak ni student So kalau kita nak tengok jawapan student tu Pergi review attempt lah And then kita boleh okay. uh, Kata kita nak bagi marking kan Kita nak mark Sebab dia ada yang manual kena mark tu Pergi kat manual grading Okay. So dia by question eh. So question ni um, Ada satu lagi yang perlu grade lah. So kita klik lah kat sini Ini ke ni tiga Already grade kosong Tiga ni dia termasuk yang saya tadi lah Tapi tak nampak sebab saya admin So kata satu ni So kalau ada sepuluh dia akan keluar sepuluh lah So kita boleh mark uh, manually grade uh, For the question Essay question okay. Just click on the grade Dia akan keluar lah ni So ni siapa dia kena tahu attend yang ni ha, ni dia ha, ni jawapan dia and then kita boleh komen lah kurang tepat ke ataupun bagus ke wrong translation ke kalau tak nak komen just bagi markah out of one kita bagi berapa satu ke 0.5 save and go to the next page so next next answer pula ataupun next next student for the same question so ni cara kita nak mark 
manually lah bagi soalan essay dekat result manual grading ini manual grading by student kita nak uh, marking mengikut soalan-soalan tapi mengikut student kalau so, tadi tu dia ikut soalan ikut soalan satu semua so jawapan student akan keluar kat situ kalau yang manual grading by student ni uh, kita nak grade seorang-seorang tapi semua soalan semua soalan yang manual lah yang auto dia tak keluar lah kat sini Telan, ya. maaf nak tanya ni. Uh, maksudnya student ke kena jawab dulu ni? Kalau katakan kita nak try sama-sama kita lecturer kan untuk ha. menjawab soalan tu, um, saya rasa macam tak keluar grades ni kan? Untuk kita tengok grade ya. semua tu. Okey, uh, dia maksud dia kalau nak keluar grade ni yang bukan teacher bagi subjek tu saja dia akan keluar. Kalau teacher yang try dia tak keluar. Oh. Uh, student tu boleh je kawan-kawan kita tapi dia bukan teacher lah. Hmm. Oh, so maknanya kita teacher kena keluarkan dari kuat. list of teacher dululah ha, Boleh juga Ah, okay, okay. Kalau ramai kan Kalau kita hmm. seorang jangan keluar pak hmm, <coughs> okay, okay. Sebab rasanya bila kita jawab beramai-ramai pun memang tak dapat yang ni lah nak, nak tengok view ha, Sebab dia teacher tu hmm, Okay okay hmm. Soalan lain tak? Okay. <laughs> Dr. Lan, Dr. Lan nak tanya uh, Contohnya kalau kita exam-exam biasa Kalau kita jawab style uh, yang OMR tu Kita akan okay. dapat tahulah subjek tu jawab uh, Each of the response tu dia jawab true atau false Tapi hmm. kalau ikut yang daripada klip ni Dia hanya keluar untuk question pertama Let's say 5 marks So dia keluar total untuk 5 marks tu je Kalau kita nak tengok satu persatu So kita kena tengok uh, view satu-satu lah Dia jawab true or false kalau kita nak buat item analisis possible tak? Okay, so yang saya tunjuk ni Kita nampak ni kan, semua hmm. student Dari setiap question hmm. Ya yeah. okay. So kena buat item analisis, dia boleh download bawah ni Ni download ada. Ha, ni download atas eh Boleh download lah dalam Excel, download and then buat item analisis lah Untuk soalan dia berapa orang yang betul, berapa orang salah kan uh, Untuk setiap satu respons tak boleh eh? Untuk satu respons macam mana? Maksudnya contohnya soalan pertama A, berapa okay. student yang jawab true? Sebab kita, uh, inilah. kita nak tengok. So, ni, ni contohnya, ni question satu, uh -huh. berapa yang jawab salah? Kalau dia uh, untuk multiple true false? Multiple true false, nak tahu berapa jawab A jawab, jawab tu je? Uh, untuknya untuk satu A, berapa yang jawab true? Uh, kat sini dia keluar markah yang dalam sum untuk soalan pertama. Kalau yang ikut, ikut hmm. sepahaman saya lah. Mungkin dia tak respon ah, Kat sini lah kat respon eh Pergi dekat result, respon So ni ada jawapan dia, true ke false ke Okay ABC dia buat dia Ni, ni kena convert lah A ke B ke kan Ni dia ada jawapan je lah Tapi kita boleh 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 analyze lah kan Ni jawapan A ni kan Ni jawapan B tu boleh ya ni? Ya, ni pun boleh download dalam Excel lah kalau nak buat analisis. Okay, ni, ni yang ABC jadi tu. Cuma dia tak keluar ABC lah, dia keluar jawapan. Tapi rasa boleh buat analisis juga lah based on jawapan pun. Masa nak isi jawapan tu kena tulis ABC? Boleh juga. Maksudnya ni ni tak nampak ABC kan? Kita nak buat analisis boleh je buat analisis ni contohnya untuk soalan tadi tu yang ni kita edit balik kita tulis lah hmm, ha, ni tulis A kalau kita nampak kan B B ada dua je right so changes and then pergi balik kepada result uh, respond Hmm, ni kena grade balik ni Ni sebab dia dah simpan yang asal tu lah Jadi kalau kita setting awal-awal tadi Yang ni ada A, kita nampak lah A tu B ke B 
Ini sebab dia kita dah setting tadi tak ada A so dia dah simpan uh, yang tak ada markah tu lah. Yang, yang tak ada huruf tu lah. Statistik. Ini statistik dia untuk question 2. Basically dah ada lah ni contohnya question 2 ni. Ni, ni, ni dia punya analisis lah. Dia dah ada buat analisis ni. Dari segi model ni dah ada analisis based on question. Saya pun tak faham ni. Kalau orang yang biasa analisis faham kot. Then ni lah ni uh, yang sedia ada lah. Kalau yang nak manual macam tadi lah. Download dalam Excel and then kena manipulate lah file Excel tu. Okay. Ada lagi soalan lain MCQ okay. uh, Tengok kat chatting tu lah MCQ question we already show so it just it easy so just so let's say we already create this question we are just repeat uh, for for entering the MCQ question so edit quiz okay, let's say you want to add a new question for the MCQ just click here add question so can I add can I add or remove question because there's already attempt Go pergi yang tak ada item lagi. Jadilah yang my course. Okay. So kalau uh, quiz tu sudah ada item daripada pelajar so dia tak boleh nak edit dah lah quiz tu. Okay. We want to add a, a new question for the multiple choice question just select this one multiple choice add then put the question name okay let's see question uh, question form how many fingers we have biasanya saya buat macam ni lah we just uh, copy paste the Question name and the question text. Uh, I will show you why I do it like this. So, katakan ini, we give it one mark. And then, just one answer only. Okay. Then, question uh, A is pi. This is the wrong answer. So, we can put a grade none. Because this is the wrong answer. So, let's say the choice two B fingers then this is the correct answer we give 100 okay then c let's say 11 right great none we can also give penalty if you want the answer if student answers incorrectly or give wrong answer we can give penalty ini kalau kita tak nak bagi student tembak-tembak lah suka-suka tembak je you can give minus point for that one. So usually we just put none for the incorrect answer. And then just save changes. Alright. So macam ni lah. Display dia. Ni correct answer dia. So ni nampak dia shuffle lah. Eh? Ni dia shuffle A, A, C, B. Ha, ni dia shuffle. Okay sebab apa saya tak buat uh, question 4 saja kat atas ni. Katakan kita buat question 4 saja kat atas ni. And then the rest, the, the, the real question we put here. So let's say we do it like that. When we view all the question, we cannot Oh dah ada lah, dulu tak ada lah Okay, so we can see Question 4 and then the question here 
Okay. Kalau kita tak letak, uh, kalau kita letak penuh dia terus nampak lah kat sini. Okay. Question 4 tu question apa? Okay, any question? Lagi tak? Ada, Pak Tela nak tanya. Yeah. Uh, kalau contoh eh, macam saya cuba-cuba jawab, maksudnya kalau kita buat soalan exam tu atas talian, student tu memang high chance lah untuk copy paste daripada mana-mana ataupun copy text tu ke browser lain untuk cari jawapan. Boleh tak kalau kita unable copy text tu? Right, uh, copy text we can enable, we go to edit setting. Okay and then we have um, extra restriction, extra restriction on attempts. And then we put show more. So, dia ada yang ni full screen pop up with some javascript security. This is to avoid copy paste. Okay, another one we have save exam browser. Tapi ni kalau kita buat yang ni, dia lagi secure lah. Maksudnya dia bukan saja tak boleh copy paste. Ni kalau dia klik kat sini, dia tak adalah button paste. Kalau dia buat control V pun, dia tak akan keluar. Ni kalau kita buat yang ni lah. Okay, yang ni pun dia sama juga. Dia tak akan boleh ada butter, ada menu ni. Kalau kita right click kat sini, kita nak paste tak boleh. Kita control V pun tak boleh. Okay, tapi satu lagi, kita tak boleh buka pun kita punya komputer ni. Dia akan nampak hanyalah uh, soalan tu saja. Kita tak boleh nak switch. Kalau kita switch, dia kira terminate quiz. Dia akan keluar soalan tu saja. Tapi kena download ni. Save exam browser. Kena, kena guna save exam browser. Tak boleh guna Chrome, tak boleh guna Firefox, tak boleh guna apa sajalah browser lain selain daripada save exam browser. Kalau kita search save exam browser. Tapi mungkin ni kita kena buat tutorial lain lah. Kita boleh download. So dia kena download yang ni and then kalau dia nak jawab dia kena guna save exam browser buat dia boleh jawab quiz tu. Kalau dia guna selain daripada tu, dia guna Chrome and then dia buka quiz, dia tak boleh buka quiz tu. Jika kita set yang ni sebagai save exam browser. Kalau uh, refer kat YouTube pun ada lah. Tapi ni panjang sebab kena download dulu. So mungkin kita boleh buat video kemudian lah. Tapi dekat YouTube pun dah ada lah kalau kita tengok YouTube. Kalau kita nak search berkaitan dengan klik ni, klik ni dia punya main platform dia adalah Moodle lah. So just put Moodle save exam browser. Kalau put klik tak nampak lah. Okay. Nah, so ni dah ada lah. Macam mana nak buat test menggunakan save exam browser. Banyak lah tutorial. Right. Dr. Lan satu lagi soalan. Saya nak tanya tadi kan macam masa kita nak transfer file daripada word file kita yang dah prepare tu kepada okay. template uh, apa tadi Excel kan yang Dr. Lan buat. Okay. Excel, uh, tak, tak boleh nak transfer direct eh? Kalau nak copy paste dalam tu tak boleh ke? Sebab yang saya dah cuba lah tapi dia tak keluar um, macam ni dia cakap format tu macam tak betul lah. Sebab saya masuk, uh, saya copy direct sebab kita ada tiga kolom kan, kolom jawapan tu sebelah kiri sekali So A, B, C, D pilihan dan baru jawapan okay. dia uh, Jadi bila kita okay, transfer macam yang uh, template doktor kan dua ada dua kolom je A dan B Kita tengok lah, saya buat satu contoh lah Jadi macam mana Ni kena, uh, tu, kena, kena format balik lah ikut format dia tu kita buat ni dalam word kan so word dia buat table hmm. kan so, kita buat table dulu okay. Okay, insert table insert table tiga kolom ah. Kita tekan yang ni buat merge ke macam mana? <coughs> Ini untuk soalan ni kan. Soalan satu. Soalan uh, oh saya guna kolom pertama tu untuk nombor. Kolom okay. kedua dan ketiga tu merge untuk stamp. Soalan. Kolom pertama ni nombor. Soalan. Ha tu soalan. Uh, merge lah dengan kolom ketiga tu. Okay. Yang ni merge ah. Ya. Yeah. 
So, yang ni? Tu jawapan. Jawapan. Tu nombor kan? A macam tu? A. Tu A. Kemudian je. Hmm. Okay. Answer one. Okay. Kita copy yang ni. Ini B. Answer two. Saya buat template tu sebab uh, consider untuk soalan MCQ kita boleh guna template yang sama je. Cuma dalam soalan Biasa case kita ni, guna yang AB tu dia apa auto format yang um, ABCD kita guna. Format macam mana nak buat auto format? Uh, ha yang tu. A tekan uh, Lepas tu A macam tu je? Hmm, ha, A gitu je lah Tapi yang auto eh, Yang yang auto, dia dah auto keluar Yang auto ni hmm, Okay Tu so, copy yang ni eh Okay A, Masuk dalam Excel tadi dah ada download ni Okay Excel download ini. Kedalam Excel ni dia guna dua kolom saja. Kita tengok macam mana nak, nak tukar eh. Okay. Okay, inilah. Okay, sini jadi macam mana. Okay, jadi macam ni kan. So, um, Kena buat macam ni ya. Kita boleh buat hujung ni. Kena formula sikit ya. Concatenate. Concatenate tu kita nak gabung kan. Kita nak gabung A, kolom B, kolom C sebagai satu teks. Okay, concatenate, just klik kat sini. And then. Uh, tengoklah kat sini kalau macam saja ni di semicolon selepas teks war tu di semicolon kalau komputer war lain ni mungkin koma kita tengok kat sini saya ni semicolon kan eh? so semicolon combine dengan sini kalau kita nak ada space dia letak space buka buka apa ni buka quote dia panggil double quote ni buat space satu and then tutup quote and then semicolon balik and then combine dengan yang ni and then kita tutup ni jadi satu teks lah ni Okay, so drag je lah ke bawah tu. Alright. So cara dia adalah copy yang ni. Paste ni and then paste. Paste jangan uh, paste value lah. Okay, so kita paste value dah. Okay, so dia dah combat lah. So automatic yang ni kita boleh delete. Ha, delete. Ha, macam ni pun dia dah support lah ni. Hmm. Okay, faham. Right. Okay, thanks Dr. Lan. Okay. Lagi, soalan lain. Okay, ada soalan tu kata save exam browser tu lebih secure. Boleh kita minta student download browser tu dan kita jalankan exam melalui browser tu. Okay. Penyediaan soalan jika perlu dibuat melalui browser tu atau ok uh, saya jawab soalan nombor dua tu dulu kalau kita guna save exam browser untuk so penyediaan soalan boleh je guna chrome ataupun guna apa-apa browser tapi untuk jawab exam saja perlu save exam browser tu cuma uh, kena pastikan student download awal-awal sebab mungkin okay, ataupun kita buat test uh, percubaan dulu menggunakan si exam browser sebab dia punya file tu besar juga tu nak download si exam browser tu dan dia kena setting awal-awal lah dan, dan dia ada prosedur dia sikit untuk si exam browser ni setting dia ada setting key dia dia untuk advance boleh lah cuma macam ni lah cuma kita kena consider juga walaupun uh, si exam browser tu dia block student daripada browse Uh, jawapan sebab dia akan nampak soalan saja dia tak boleh switch kepada window lain kita kena consider dia boleh switch uh, dia boleh check jawapan menggunakan handphone jadi kalau betul-betul nak control pun tak boleh control jugalah uh. ok 
Okey, uh, ada cadangan tak macam mana nak buat soalan yang ada limit masa untuk each set of question. Set of question memang boleh boleh buat uh, limit limit time lah. Maksudnya uh, setiap kuis tu kita boleh buat limit lah masa dia. Tapi dalam, dalam kuis tu banyak soalan. Kita, untuk setiap soalan tu memang tak boleh buat. Kalau betul-betul nak buat tu 5 minit saja untuk soalan tu memang kena buat banyak kuis lah. Kuis 1, 5 minit. Kuis 2, 5 minit. Tapi satu kuis, satu soalan. Inilah cara sekarang lah. Hmm. Tapi uh, apa yang saya kata tak boleh hari ni, dia mungkin boleh esok. Uh, tapi maksudnya saya akan carilah. Mungkin dia ada ada plug-in untuk tu. Tapi saya akan cuba cari dulu. Cuma buat masa ni yang default punya installation clip tu tak adalah untuk control uh, timing pada setiap soalan tu. Okay ada lagi soalan macam tak ada lah kau. Semasa nak pergi siap buka puasa ni. Zainab macam mana? Kalau, uh, kalau tak ada soalan uh, okey lah kot. <laughs> Apa-apa pun kalau macam kata ada soalan-soalan yang lain mungkin kita boleh berhubung terus dengan Dr. Lan kot. Boleh? Ya boleh. Ah, okay. So hmm. saya ingat uh, okay ya. Uh, tak ada soalan dah. So, okay. Saya ingat, uh, saya, ingat saya uh, boleh, uh, kita boleh stop sini dulu Dr. Lan. Uh, kalau ada apa-apa nanti soalan-soalan uh, kita akan berhubung terus dengan Dr. Lan. Uh, dengan ini saya ucapkan ribuan terima kasih banyak-banyak kepada Dr. Lan dan juga Cik Dia kita uh, atas uh, masa yang diberikan kepada kita ruangan ini saya rasa dapat juga membuka sedikit sebanyak uh, idea ataupun uh, apa ni apa yang kita boleh lakukan untuk final exam. Saya faham ini adalah merupakan pertama kali dalam hidup kita uh, dalam sejarah juga untuk kita nak menggunakan satu benda yang baru dan banyak kena kena belajarlah sebenarnya. So dengan itu saya ingat uh, kita sudahi dengan uh, uh, perjumpaan kita hari ini dengan surah as. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Terima kasih banyak Dr. Lan. Sama-sama. Selamat berbuka semua. Terima kasih Lan. Sama. Okay.